Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a nice new chainsaw to show you guys. It's a steel MS-291C. And here's the saw. It belongs to a friend of mine who was nice enough to let me take it in here to make a review. It is slightly used, but it is still in new condition. And again, it's the steel MS-291C with the easy to start feature. That's why you'll notice the recoil is much larger here. Now some people like this feature and some people do not. However, for some people it is very handy, especially if they have a hard time to pull over a chainsaw to start it. And this chainsaw here is the successor to the MS290 chainsaw, which is a really good chainsaw as well. And I'll just turn it around so you can see it completely. This one here has a 20 inch bar. It's a .325 pitch, 50 gauge by 80 drive links. As you can see here, it's got the toolless adjustment for the chain. It does have a primer bulb here. There is no decompression valve by the way guys. And if you look on the back of the handlebar here you can see it's a 56cc chainsaw. And here's the on off switch and also the choke lever as well. And this one here does have the toolless fuel cap and the toolless oil cap as well. And here's the brake handle which is standard on all saws nowadays. And here's a bucking spike here. And it does have the anti-vibe system as well. And here's the underneath of this chainsaw. And by the way guys, it is a drum sprocket, not a rim sprocket on this chainsaw. And this 291C chainsaw is made in Germany. And what I have here is the steel flyer for Canada. You can see the MS 291 CBE is $599.95 plus taxes. The taxes here in Canada are 13%. So by the time you're done buying this saw, you'd be very close to $700. And according to the steel website, this chainsaw weighs 6.2 kilograms or 13.7 pounds. Now I'm sure you guys want to see the engine under this cover. And to take the cover off, you have to loosen three Torx T27 screws. And here's the inside of this engine. It's super clean. I don't even think this engine is broken in yet. I like the air filter system on this one. It's quite different from the MS290. Now if you're wondering how to remove the air filter, you just simply turn it counterclockwise and turn it in clockwise to reinstall it. And here's the switch and choke lever here. You can see all the setup for that. And the primer bulb. And the spark plug is an NGK BPMR 7A. Here's the cylinder head. And there's the flywheel. So overall it looks pretty nice. I kind of like it myself actually. So at this point I'll just reinstall the cover. What I'll do now is just compare it to the 290. I've got a 290 on the table here so you can see the differences. And here's the two saws side by side. Here's the 290. You can see it's much larger. Personally I like the shape of the new 291. I find it ergonomically better. It's much slimmer up here than this one. Although these are very good saws by the way guys. And this one here does not have the easy to start feature. And the 290 does not have the toolless chain adjustment like this one. So you can see here that there's quite a difference from the 290 to the 291. Now I've put a link under the video today so you can go look at the specs and all the details about this saw on the steel website. And now at this point guys I'm going to start it up and I'm going to test it out in some logs that I have here. So to start it I'll give it a few shots of primer. I'm going to press the trigger and put the choke all the way down.
I really like this saw actually. It cuts really good. It's got a lot of power and it's not that heavy actually. Now I do think if you bought one of these saws that you would be very happy with it. Now if you're not too fond of the easy to start feature, I believe you can buy the same saw without that feature. In my opinion, if you buy one of these saws and you look after it, it's going to last you a lot of years to come. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.